Hello guys and welcome. This video is going to give you a huge variety of games from VR's past, VR's present and VR's future. As I will show off some old quest games that I absolutely love, then move on to free quest titles, then quest titles that have interesting features and then some new games that you do not want to miss. So please, as I go through, comment games you believe deserve to be on this list because there were actually, there were so many I just couldn't put them all in this video, which is actually a great thing for VR and I'm really excited to share this with you. So enough chin wagging, let's get started. So before we actually begin, there is a mad bundle on right now, and I already mentioned this in a previous video, so I'm just going to take the clip from that video so I don't have to repeat myself, where you can get eight games for the Oculus Quest for just $15 until the 20th of January. So if you've already seen this, feel free to skip if you haven't. Enjoy. This is happening through Fanatical, a site that has tons of discounted games for flat screen enjoyment. So on the 20th of December, a game bundle was going live where you can get eight Oculus Quest titles for only $15. You'll get games such as Zombieland Headshot Fever, an arcade shooter that has a speedrun element that I quite, I quite like. Ghost Giant with one of the most heartfelt stories that I've experienced in VR. It's so touching and a great puzzler. Death Lap, a racing game with lots of violence, Accounting Plus from the co-creator of Rick and Morty, which is a puzzler and it's weird and often really creepy humour. Sky World Kingdom Brawl, a PvP strategy game which I actually adore, I, I actually really enjoy it so much, I'm surprised more people don't play it. Gadgeteer, a puzzler, where the limitations are your imagination. Another great game, Sculptor VR, which allows you to 3D print and export your creations. So if you have a 3D printer and you like art, perfect. Gloomy Eyes, a short VR film, plus 60% off voucher code for Zero Calibre, a first person shooter. As I said, there should be a link down below in the description for you guys to access that bundle. So of course, there are the obvious mentions that I should start with. You should definitely try these games if you get the chance, uh, but they're just on the pricier side of VR in the game marketplace, but of course they are worth it. And these are games such as Beat Saber, the VR gateway drug that hooks many of us, slice some blocks to the musical beat, it's a great workout, very addictive, and they've always got new songs, new song packs from some of our favourite artists. And then of course we have the Vader Immortal series, a brilliant first timers experience as it's not very intense, you don't have to have your VR legs to enjoy this one, and you get to hold and feel a lightsaber and be face to face with Darth Vader. This is a bucket list experience for many Star Wars fans, and there are three of them, it's episodic, so when you buy one, that's not the full game, there is three of them. Population 1, the quest battle royale where you are dropped onto a map and you must be the last squad standing. It's designed in a very easy way to make friends and group up with people. The game is also simple mechanics, so it's easy to grasp, and you can spend hours in this game easy. It's far too much fun. And of course, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, one of the best selling games in VR as a whole. With its lengthy campaign, abundant additional content, it's a miracle that they got this game running on the Oculus Quest. It's one of the best VR survival horror titles around. Scavenge for resources, take on the undead, and honestly, pulling a knife out of one of the zombies heads is just, it's an odd feeling that you never quite get used to. Thankfully. Pistol Whip is another rhythm game, but one that makes you feel like John Wick. It will hurt your quads if it's the first time you're playing it, and you shoot enemies to the musical beat for maximum points. They have added tons of additional content since its release, and it's arguably more addictive than Beat Saber. Very easy to grasp, a legendary VR title. I want to touch on five more games now that came out when the Oculus Quest 1 was in full swing. These games may have fell under the radar and they're just really brilliant titles and withhold the test of time. They are some of my favourite VR titles yet. Starting off with Lies Beneath. Any Resident Evil or action horror fan will enjoy this game. It's very creepy and is clearly inspired by Resident Evil and Silent Hill. It has a decent storyline, plenty of weapons to take off heads or melee weapons to shank these creatures of the night. The art style is also stunning in virtual reality with its cell shaded art style and it's one of my favourite single player campaigns. Until You Fall is another great VR game for newcomers or veterans because it puts you in that state of flow where time just flies by because you're having so much fun. This is a roguelike combat title where you progress through stages and end on a boss fight. But the battles you fight have visual cues either prompted to the user 
or the enemy's body language will give you a clue, and you must learn to dodge and attack at the right time. Again, one of my favourite VR games of all time. It's brilliant. Pixel Ripped 1995, a retro VR fusion. Pixel Ripped takes gaming franchises and styles from the 90s and brings that into virtual reality in a very imaginative way in a series of levels or mini experiences. You must try and save the world and do it through 16-bit visuals. We also have Blast on this game. It's kind of crazy it came out so long ago because it's been updated so often and it makes headlines all the time that I forget. So this is a dueling game where you face off in 1v1 matches with bots or people all over the world. Where you have to try and shoot them and avoid their oncoming fire. It's super simple and way more fun than I can ever explain. It's really easy to grasp and fun for all the family. It's definitely a must play. And of course, finally, Moss. A sequel of this game has recently been announced and it's one of VR's classics with its unbelievable story. This is a great one to try as well because it gives you a different side to VR than the other titles I've just mentioned where you are a spectator of the world, watching and assisting Quill with puzzles and combat. Now let's move on to interesting. I want to touch on a few experiences here. They offer something unique to virtual reality, either special technology, providing incredible immersion, or special quest features to achieve it. So the first is puzzling places. It's a puzzling game, but puzzlers have a bad reputation, but in virtual reality, they are way more rewarding than we give them credit for. This one, you construct 3D models that are actually environments of landmarks or iconic historical places. And since it was captured in real locations using photogrammetry technology, the visuals are photorealistic and you can put yourself in these environments and listen to the sounds around you and enjoy the view. Another one is unplugged VR. Those about to rock, I salute you. This is an air guitar game where you will play rock tunes using the Quest's hand tracking feature. So you'll be strumming and holding chords in the air with no guitar there. It has some big names behind the title as well, such as Whitesnake and previous musicians who actually worked on Guitar Hero. And finally, Synth Riders, their experiences. Another great rhythm game that makes you want to dance, but I put this one in the interesting section because they have something called experiences. These levels are mind-blowing, orgasmic, immersive levels that will have your jaw dropping to the floor. And I'm not sure what I can say to give this justice, except if you get the game, Try these experiences, they will blow you away. Seriously. Now let's move on to the meat, a more recent list of games that I think you are going to enjoy and shows off what the Quest has to offer. These are games that I keep coming back to or I'm always thinking about and they're not ones I've already mentioned. So the first is Hyper Dash. This is my favorite multiplayer shooter on the Oculus Quest with its fast paced action because you can grind rails and dash around which also adds a strategic element to the game. It has a very arcadey feel where weapons are placed around the map, you pick them up, you pick up health and stamina to assist you mid-game. It's gone for a future bot-like art style as well, and it's got many game modes that you would expect in a multiplayer game. But one mode I love is Payload. It's my favourite. You get on a tram and you have to get the tram to the other side of the map, and it only moves if you or your teammates are on it. It's an epic game, Hyper Dash. Resident Evil 4, the long single player experience that will take some of you over 10 hours to complete. This is a VR adaption of the platinum selling game that you may have played on GameCube or PS2 and then re-released on Xbox, Switch, <laughs> it's just, this game's everywhere. This is an amazing survival horror title where you have to battle through tons of the infected trying to save the president's daughter. The game is stunning on the Quest 2 as it's built from the ground up and it's a must play for sure, not just for Resident Evil fans. Swarm, a gem on the Quest with by far the best swinging mechanics in any game I've ever played. I don't know how they've done it, you don't get very motion sick swinging around either. This is an arcade arena game, now with a multiplayer mode, and more modes are going to be added soon, the devs have told me. So you swing around the map, taking out enemies and collecting gems to get a high score. That's it, it's very simple to learn, but it's hard to master and so rewarding when you swing around like Spider-Man using your guns. Next is Stride, a free running experience that people call Mirror's Edge of VR, and I like to jump, you have to swing your arms up, or to pull yourself up, you literally pull yourself up over walls, or to sprint, you have to swing your arms back and forth. It helps with the motion sickness, especially if you're new to VR. It has a campaign that's coming soon as well, but for now we have different game modes to enjoy, such as an arena mode, which focuses on combat whilst free running. 
a time trial mode, which is about completing a course in the fastest time possible. This is brilliant and great for sharing with friends. There's also an objective based mode where you jump across rooftops doing various missions for as long as you can last. And this is incredibly addictive and so much fun, but you do get very hot playing it. Next is After the Fall, a recent release in the VR space that is cross-platform with PlayStation VR, Steam VR, and Oculus. This is a multiplayer game where you go out on harvests with three other players or AIs. So when you get out there, you will find weapons, floppy disks, and hordes upon hordes of the Snowbreed. It gets compared to Left 4 Dead because there's just so many zombs or Snowbreed on the screen at once that you have to take out. And it's just so much fun, especially with friends. This is another game that I'm surprised how well it runs and how well it looks on the Quest. And this might be my favorite game at the moment. Resist, this is a game that surprised many of us with how polished it is. You play a member of the Resistance, hence the name, trying to take on an overlord who controls the machines that terrorize the city. But what makes the game so fantastic is how polished the game looks. It is stunning. The fact that it is an open world swinging shooter in a city, so you can swing around skyscrapers, leap from building to building, doing side objectives, mini games or the main storyline. This one though, if you are new to VR, definitely check out the comfort settings because when you crash into a building, it can make you feel quite sick. Next is Demio, a game at the surface that looks so boring, but this is one of the best games to come out of the VR space this year. It's a tabletop simulator where you and teammates work cooperatively to take on a villain. Each level has three stages ending on a boss fight. So you'll move your character around the map finding chests to give you new cards, and these cards give you special abilities. But to do well, you have to work together because this game is tough. Teamwork is key. And I think that's where the magic lies. The strategic thinking makes this game an absolute delight, but it can go on for literally hours. So make sure you charge your quest. Space Pirate Trainer DX. This is the new and improved Space Pirate Trainer, which could have gone in the interesting section or the old category, but it deserved a spot here as this game is a recent must play due to a recent update. And it's the most immersive, powerful VR experience I think the Quest has to offer. So Space Pirate Trainer is a wave shooter. You are static and you shoot drones that try to attack you with a series of weapons and you even have a shield to protect yourself against the onslaught. But there is also now a multiplayer mode that you can enjoy this with a friend competing against each other for the highest score. Or you can try the Space Pirate Arena mode where you play in a 10 by 10 meter space and you can literally run around in that space playing a multiplayer shooter with a friend. It is truly incredible. So if you have a friend, this is a must play for sure. To run around wirelessly in a physical space in VR at home, if you've got the space, is it's an experience that you could only go to VR arcades before, but now you can have it right in your own home. Jurassic World, this game I love. It is a cell shaded art style as well, which I think is becoming very apparent. That is something I adore. It looks great and just runs well on the quest. So this game, you've crash landed in Jurassic World and you're trying to find a way to escape. But in doing so, you must sneak past dinosaurs and complete puzzles. This is Alien Isolation, but on the Oculus Quest. This game has you on edge, your heart racing incredibly fast when you're being chased or you have a raptor around the corner that can strike at any minute. The game does come in two parts though, and I believe you have to complete the first one in order to enjoy the second part, but at least this means you get a game at half price technically to see if you want to pay full price for it. It is very polished and this game actually really impressed me. I, I love this title. Now let's move on to free games that won't cost you any money, but are well worth the download to experience some of the best VR has to offer. And it actually, it, it amazes me that you can enjoy some of this content for free because it is some of the best. So starting off with Echo Arena, this game is a VR classic and on PC you can enjoy an extension of it called Echo Combat. But on Quest it's Echo Arena. This is a zero gravity game of hockey or Quidditch if that hits home better for you. So you have a disc that you must get into the opponent's goal, but teamwork is required. Flinging off each other for high speed, passing the disc across the map to get closer to the goal. This is very addictive. You'll find yourself saying, one more game. Okay, one more game. Okay, one more game. Rec Room, this is a user created platform, which means endless amounts of content. This is more on the childish side, so you will have screamers and young kids in this one playing the game, but there is just a lot of fun to be had. Potentially, infinite amounts of games, all with different genres. So you can play an adventure title with a bow and arrow, play a battle royale, enjoy some puzzles, even play Among Us or Fall Guys in VR. 
Pavlov is the more realistic, violent online multiplayer shooter that also has a cooperative zombies mode. The visuals are not the best, but they are definitely improved over time, and there personally is not a better realistic shooter on the Quest platform, and this one is free. All the weapons, of which there is a lot, have realistic reloading mechanics, so you'll have to learn how to use your guns, how to reload, to be effective in-game. Next is Gun Raiders. This game is a gem. It's recently made its way onto App Lab after being on SideQuest and now has a Battle Pass model. This is a shooter that has an interesting mechanic where you can climb up walls, climb across ceilings, fling yourself off them and use a jetpack. So the game can be very fun, very fast paced. You can jetpack onto the ceiling, drop down on people, fly across a room when someone's trying to shoot you and blast them away with a shotgun. And the loadout is very different in this game. You don't have one. You have every weapon available by default, so you can swap out between a shotgun, a machine gun, a katana, a sniper, all in seconds. This game is so much fun. And no free game list would be complete without Gorilla Tag. This game just took over VR, I swear. It's now on App Lab. It was a VR viral hit where you are an ape and you can only move by swinging your arms and physically moving yourself along the map but you have to do it fast, you have to do it hard, because if you don't, you're not going to get enough air and really fling yourself. So in the game, you actually play a game of tag. You're an ape chasing another ape across the map, screaming at each other, flinging yourself off trees, off walls. It's literally that simple. and It's just incredibly fun, but please be aware of screaming children. And finally, the coming soon. Just a mention of a couple games to look forward to because the future is bright for VR. And I have two games here that are just incredible. First is Among Us VR. They've recently announced this, that they're going to bring this flat screen mobile title to virtual reality with a first person perspective. The visuals, they do look amazing and it may relight the hype for this game as I feel the time for it has kind of passed. But I am so happy for an official VR version of this. And of course, San Andres VR. So during Meta's event, we were told that more franchises are coming to VR, and one of them was Grand Theft Auto San Andres. We're not sure when this is going to be coming out, it has just been confirmed, but when we hear of that day, it will be a glorious one. So that's it from me today, guys. I do hope this list has given you some variety and shown off some great games, as the VR list just keeps growing and growing, and it's hard to choose now. Please subscribe to the channel as I bring more games news and reviews, and hopefully I will see you next time. Happy gaming, guys. Happy holidays. Good day.